Built in 1959, the Handley Page Victor was used in the height of the Cold War. The bomber was operated by a skilled pilot defending the UK. Now it's the only one of its kind left in the world. This week, veterans who worked on the flight reunited for its unveiling after a five-year restoration project. I had some wonderful experiences flying this aeroplane because it was such a wonderful aeroplane and because we were in the forefront of the news at the time that I flew it. So I was very lucky and it's a great thrill for me to see this aeroplane so being beautifully preserved because it's a bit of our history. It's a bit of history which is fading into the distance now. So wonderful that the Imperial War Museum are preserving it in this way. Like Jeremy, Bob was part of the team who were ready to be deployed with the Victor within four minutes. Our job was to be launched or scrambled off standby, rush up to the northern approaches and link up with our lightnings, uh, the interceptors, and then uh, chase and find the Russian Burrs or whichever their um, aircraft were that were coming down through the Iceland Faroes Gap. But what does it take to restore a Cold War bomber? For five months this year, specialists worked on the aircraft, led by John and his team. What we do is try to conserve objects for future generations. So they can use them as a reference point. Um, that is one of the questions we always get asked, is, is this aircraft going to fly? No, we don't fly them because you'd have to change so many components on it, it would cease to be what it originally was. Now, we want people to become, you know, children to come along in 30, 50 years' time to look at something and say, oh, that was the way it was made in the 1960s. What was one of three designed to be Britain's first nuclear bombers is now here for all to see, an iconic aircraft for its shape, now part of British aviation history. The H Comba, GB News.